If I were to tell you that there are three things I can't live without each day, one of them would definitely be noise canceling earbuds. So I'm going to do a quick review of the Bose Quiet Comfort 2 Ultra that I got for Christmas. And I don't typically do product reviews, but I was so displeased with these this morning that I had to put something out there for everybody else. So I did my basic due diligence. I looked at some YouTube videos, some quick research about what other people were saying. Uh, first thing I heard was that sound quality is not as great as a wired earbud. And I had been using these older ones from Bose. Uh, this is my third pair and they all seem to fizzle out at some point. I really can't make phone calls with these anymore. Sometimes the audio goes up and down on its own. It's got this weird dongle because Bose is not compatible with the newer Android phone that I use. So it's a bit clunky and I thought maybe now is time to upgrade. But I love that these are noise canceling. There's no EMF. I was super concerned about EMF waves running through my head with the Bluetooth earbuds. So I was a bit apprehensive about even buying them. All that aside though, uh, number one, audio quality, not as good as wired headphones. These sound superior to the wireless. Number two, and this is the biggest problem, during my workout this morning, they wouldn't stay in my ears. It comes with all of these different tips and connectors to fit into your ear. And if you're just sitting there on a chair, I guess they work well enough and they're snug and secure enough. You could shake your head around and nothing seems to move about. But the simple act of doing push-ups had these falling out of my ears. So uh, quickly, what comes in the box? It's those little clips for your ears. You get a little USB cable to charge it up and you get this case that is your charger, you plug it in there and then the buds are inside and they're charging when you're not using them, etc. Uh, there's a wireless charger that you can buy also for like another 50 bucks. I don't know that it's worth it. I mean, do you really need to wirelessly charge? Maybe it's a must have for you. But back to the actual usage of these. So yeah, it fell out of my ear and uh, the first time I went to put it back in and just shoving it into my ear, I turned it off uh, because all of the functions are on this little tiny touchpad on the side of the bud. And both of these have a touchpad. So the more that you try to fidget around with it in your ear, you're gonna keep touching this touchpad. It's like impossible not to. So the controls are a little bit wonky. For the life of me, I couldn't get the volume to go up and down. That was annoying, uh, not a deal breaker because you could always just do the volume on your phone, but if you wanna be completely without your phone, put it across the room, yeah, it's, it's kind of a deal breaker. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. Uh, I'm kinda let down. So this is a warning to all of you out there that if you're going to buy these, be aware, they may not fit your ears as perfectly as you think. The sound quality is not so good and the controls are really wonky. I may do an update to this video and let you know if I find out anything else, but uh, initial reaction, these are gonna be backup earbuds. As clunky and as unworking as these are, the sound and the noise canceling work great. And if I can't make a phone call with them, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I like to use speakerphone anyway, but these may be a good backup if I need to take a quick call. I've heard that call, call quality is not that great on them, that's still yet to be determined. I haven't called anybody, uh, but they say that the noise canceling, uh, not the noise canceling, but the like background noise canceling with wind and all that, it kind of interferes with your phone call. So we'll see. I try not to take phone calls outside, but sometimes you have to. I like to be in a quiet place and talk. So that's my review. Hopefully this is helpful and uh, gives you some information before you go out there, uh, you kind of don't know what you're going to get until you try it for a little bit. So if you've had a different experience, I'd love to hear it. Leave me a comment below and thanks for watching.